man from Mansion Jinx, welcome back to Stories Untold. We're getting into the last chapter here, uh, chapter episode, the last session. And again, lights is the warning, flashing lights could be in this episode. If any time I start, try to look around for clues. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. I think that's enough of that for now. Oh. Hello? God damn it, no! I want to watch my favorite program! You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? Yes, so why did you pause it? Clearly I'm watching it. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. No, I'm watching... Excuse me, I'm watching this. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, wheel down. I was watching that. This place must be starting to feel like home to you. No. Don't worry. <laughs> exit. No, no, exit. Eventually. Come back, please. Under stress, keep a healthy mind. Just in here. Time to quit. Help us here. This feels more interrogation okay. room. Are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. Boy then. Help. Excuse me, hello. Right, Mr. Asian. Now oh, are you hello. ready? No. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Okay, help? Oh, okay. Yes? This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, and <laughs> in the room more? we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. Yeah? As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma following his accident. So it wasn't a coma? In our last three sessions. James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic. Uh, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. So those were all in my imagination? Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, <laughs> let's bring this back. <laughs> this one better. You know how difficult this must be? Stop panicking, James. But you can do this. James, it's time to remember. They locked me in here! What the heck? It's like a conscious black box. Oh, hi. I show you your memories. Look into it. I don't like this camera. This camera, I, I don't, oh, I can't even look away. I can't even look away. It won't let me. That's, okay, flashing light warning. Definitely, because I know this. God damn it. I don't like this camera, man. It's still got blood all over it from the heart. <laughs> Oh, I'm back here. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a... Oh, the whole world is destroyed now. You no, were isolated no, from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. Operation. With your operation. This is off vacation. Encouraging you to wake. Your family would do oh. number puzzles with you. Anything, really, to bring you back. People needed line. answers, James. Do you remember? Do you I have another start signal typing? here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. Oh. You can't miss it. It's gonna be... It's gonna make me do it. Nearly there. Oh. 19. 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F, 12, 19, 86, 23, Why this 04. number? 
type in the numbers, James. Guess. Why this number? I was seeing the 1986 before. This Why the rest of it? 20 F. Report. 12, 19, Wait, no. I, I know it's just the, the supply truck. That's talking. What is this? Wilson Police Department Road Traffic Accident Report File. What is this? Oh god, we were in an accident, were we? Okay, two vehicles, time of day. Pleasant Hill, Forest World, Fatal Accident, 20F. Ah, that's why the supply. Oh dear. One injured, I'm guessing that's me. Driver, James. Uh, day of birth. Station wagon white. Wait, blah blah blah. Okay, the other guy was Charles Hemington. He died, I think. It was in a s blue sedan. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a head on collision. Mr. Aiton? Aiton? Found lying outside his vehicle head with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in a collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hemington, was found dead on arrival. It was noticeably that was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver's and an empty whiskey bottle on the driver's seat. Without James was questioned on seeing described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he suffered. Su I can't speak. Si swerved to avoid. His passenger was his sister, the driver of the police and the ex-police officer of 20 years. Oh no. Oh, what's this? Blank page. Oh, is this the report we're talking about? Is it the ones that circled? So, 20th fatal accident. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't see anything file. Find the signal, James. Listen oh, to the right, voices. So reporting officer. Is that what you I'm have doing? To face it, James. Officer Find William me. interviews. Shiver. Oh, Seventy thousand. It's not like it at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years, and not once have we even talked Bye, about camera. alcohol. By camera. Wait, where am I going? What? Driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. The door sounds like plunging you into darkness. Asian guy. He's got something to hide. A light focus on. Uh oh. I've been fun in the closet. Oh, it's me. Where am I today? This doesn't make sense to you. No, it does not. You step out in the hospital ward, it's only seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. Time to quit, help us here. Why am I moving? I am sorry. No, don't do that. I'm just trying to keep a healthy mind. Mental awareness, that's good. The tape is still recording. I am slowly wandering away. Driving home, don't have that fifth pint. Yeah, four pints is enough, guys. Fifth one, that's when it gets illegal. Oh gosh, first steps to recovery after traumatic incident, both your body and mind need. Where am I going? That's. So, it's like I've been, like, there's a black hole in the exit, and I've just been drawn to it. It's need time to heat. Okay. It's not just the victims that need help, it is the careers and parents too. 
Okay. You turned up someone else here. Thank you for telling me. I would never have known how to respond to that. Hello? Help! Coma ward. That's where I need to go. Tay room? Oh, I should sanitize my hands. You spent most waking moments here. The only video they have some horror confirmation trash. <laughs> wow. Alright then. Oh, so this we got it. The house abandoned. Dreaming Greenland. Number of puzzles. I'm stuck on the fucking chair. That is a beautiful t old TV. Post. Oh, no, post. Pre surgery. The door you can open, you don't know what's in there. It was a lock, but deep down, you know, you must get through somehow. I'm beginning to suspect. Sus <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect there's something wrong with my keyboard. I cannot be. Oh, this could be like a reason why I'm the only one who suffers this. Uh, you only caught a glimpse of this room. You guess that's why it has no detail here. Um, I guess so. Why I have wandering characters. I can't tell if game or not. I like the. Oh, hello. Sound of my heartbeat going crazy. Ooh, key. You got the keys on the table, the way heavy in your hand. So that, that the computer from. The third episode? That's the right. Hmm. Right then, let's see if this will work. Ha! Huh. That's nice. The visiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. Was it the door? I think it kicked me. Ah, that's nothing. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. Uh. More locked doors, like you can't go somewhere you. Like you can't. Okay, then game. I'm gonna go down here to the ominous night. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Well, funny enough, when you tell me that, I don't feel it. But yeah, can I go through the light? Oh. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in a vehicle collision. He was Ceiling. awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival. Oh, the don't put me in there. The other passengers died in the accident. Oh no, my sister. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten and give me one hundred jewels. Come on, hundred jewels. Charging up full to ten. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's been a while. I don't remember. I like how the game think I would remember. Can we get this on the screen, please? Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm beautiful. That's my eyeball. I can't green. The stock is very demanding. Can you put it on the screen? Okay. It's on the screen, buddy. I can't. Come on, hundred jewels. Charging up. Oh, to ten. oh, oh! That's what I'm missing. Clear. Oh, ow. No I don't think I'm. First stage. Let's try supposed higher. to do that. Two hundred jewels. Keep the amp charged at ten. Ooh, I don't think I'm uh, qualified to do this on myself. Tools. I don't think doctors are supposed to operate Keep on the themselves. 10. Let's go. Okay, let's clear. Go. Ow. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Do we? Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Uh, eh. Eh. There we go. This is Come so on, weird. 360, hurry. The machine is the one that's slowing down, buddy. It's not me. Yeah. Keep jolting back in well, time. Would you look at that? Oh, it hello. Seems we have a pulse. Time to drill into his brain. We need to run an X-ray right away. Where are we with that X-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Uh. 
That is the X-Way, isn't it? There we go. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. That switch on a drill, please. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. What the was drill, that? Please. Yeah, give me a second. I want to describe what the hell they're trying to do to me. Um, I think it's a cut. No, a cut. Frozen side. I don't freaking know. I've heard of it. I can't remember what it is. Switch the drill on. What are you waiting for now? Oh, this is not good. Okay. I can't. Mr. Asian, Wait. Hang on. That's my You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through the next <laughs> step. Nope. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this. No, please. Oh, oh. That actually gave me more discomfort more than anything. <gasps> yeah, that would wake me up too. Wait, the tape is in the keyboard? Huh? Yes, I get it. Screeching. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you can leave on a six-month trip aboard with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided for a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room. As usual, you don't recognize a soul. That's not... Great. The room is full of chatty strangers. Most friends are... Mostly friends of Mom and Dad as a door to the hall. Talk to... People? You exchange pleasantries, nod and smile, nod and smile. Run away. Okay. Um. Go to door. We must follow the strangers. Okay, what about if I look at door? Door, the whole, the doorway is wide enough for guests to move freely for that. He just described a fucking doorway. Go. You push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is welcome as ever. Only this time folks have put the big banner up across the main wall. Half the finished drinks. Half finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. There's lead through the parties from me downstairs. Uh, look around. Same as ever, stairs, door to the living room, and door to the kitchen. Go upstairs. I want to get away from this party. As much as you love to, you promise you'll stay downstairs with the party. Damn it. Okay. Look. Those pictures weren't there in the hallway? So I don't understand. Okay, go to kitchen. They say all the best parties in the are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and loud. There was drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a few hog roast. He sits proudly on the table, though no one's eating it. Eat food. Eat hog roast. So let's say maybe later. Well, too bad. Sorry, Dad. Look around. There is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Well, clearly I'm gonna ignore her. Look at writing. Sorry, I don't it. Okay, v read. Writing. Happy New Year, 1986. I don't know about that. we place to hang it. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Look at utility. That's how you spell it wrong. No, I didn't. Wait. Oh, there's some people in, in the background. Just as you're about to head inside the utility room, Jen places her hand on your shoulder. Hi. Oh, never mind. You hug, you're gonna miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're joining the party. Yes. 
You tell it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. You tell it's you to enjoy it anyway. <laughs> what is it? No, she tells you to enjoy it anyway. It's least not for us to get a drink. Okay, Jen. She speaks over the din, asking you to get her a drink. Get her a drink. You pour Jen a drink and more for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence for Jennifer. She's always had a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Yes. You told her yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family has really gone out of the way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's gonna miss you, you're gonna miss her, she walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, smiling at the appropriate faces. <laughs> Just like, yeah, yes, yes, hello, I got my drink, my party, yeah. There's not much to do for this move, can't mess it up, but first a drink. Mess up. Drink. You pour another drink, anything to move the night along. I probably shouldn't drink. That had that whole thing. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskey, sealed into full racks. A collector, though he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Look at the card. You pick up the whiskey in the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're pretty so proud of you and everything you achieved. You earned this. It's a bottle of a 25 euro double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you take the take the room around you. There must be hundreds, not thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Thank. Dad. No, oh, never mind. Okay. Leave room. Whiskey. You head back to the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You stumble out, this is, this is why you need to invite people to parties that you know, because otherwise your friends are going to be the whiskey bottle your dad gives you. And back into the kitchen, there's one strong whiskey, you take another swig, that's my second drink, third drink, and give the thumbs up to the dad, he goes, he nods, he nods and winks. Thanks, dad. He tells you he's proud of you, and to go easy tonight, early flight tomorrow. Okay, dad. Uh, okay, what can I else we do? Busy and noisy, we'll need to find somewhere quieter. Find somewhere. <laughs> what do you expect from me? Leave room. Go upstairs, back up to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through when you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. Oh no. She's staring at you. No one else notices. Hug, Jen. Blood is dripping down her face, mixing with tears. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Call 111. Jen? Jen? Jen, rather? What is that? I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. How? He's stable. For now. I don't want to see him. Oh, okay, thanks, Mom. Why will you love me? I shouldn't make a plain Jen's died and I'm just sitting there. I can't stop anything. You are standing in the hallway, something to stop you in the tracks while searching your mind for your sister to erupt. She waves a hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out the short soul's words echo. Uh, no, Jen, I'm had too much to drink already. No. I'm sorry. No. What? Did I just say yes? Yes? Thank God. Um, look. Uh, 
Look around this the one you go for. Doors to the kitchen and living room lead from here while stairs take you up. Run up. Run <laughs> away. Go up. Says. You love to call it a night, but Jen is waiting patiently. Go away, Jen. I'm drunk. Talk to Jen. Yeah, yeah, we can talk in the car. Go get your keys. I'm... Jen. Jen, I'm kind of drunk. I shouldn't be driving. <laughs> okay. Look for keys, I guess. Oh, look for. You need to look for them. They must be in the kitchen or the living room. Kitchen first. Oh, wait. Maybe a key's in the kitchen. The probably in my coat. The kitchen is very busy. Too many people crammed in here, but I guess this is where the food and drinks are at. The guests are like a set of vultures picking the rolls on the kitchen counter. Your dad is locking up the utility. Go to dad. 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 Thank. I can't spell today. Today's a non-spelling day. Go. What can I do? It's difficult to move around in here between all the people in the kitchen table. Look for keys. You need to look for them. Look in. I was in there, so it might make sense. You said this room is locked. Well, dead. Why? You know what? Dead. Why? Okay, you know what? Go to the living room. You're suddenly back in the hallway, bottle of whiskey and ham, no car keys. She points to the living room size, what's on the count. Uh, go to... You know what this reminds me of? Life is strange. You sure your keys are in the living room? Heard that lie before. Um... When... I want to spoil it. I want to spoil it in case people haven't seen it, but it reminds me of a certain scene from there. Very, very sad scene of looking for the driver's keys. The living room is much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drink cabinet. Go to mom. Look for keys. You need to look for them. Coffee table, a drinks cabinet, one of the chairs is all flowing with jackets and coats. Oh! Go to... You search for all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in pocket, you grab both. Both of what? Leave. Keys in hand, you head back to the hall. Jen, thank you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in a fit state to drive. I'm not in a fit state to drive. We should just stay here. Call work, say you're gonna be late. You can handle it though. You know the world at the back of the hand, don't you? No, Jen. I'm drunk. Leave. Oh God, I can't spell. You open the front door and walk out to the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You are glad to have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you slip down from the porch. The ice extends at the back of the house and the car sits in the front of the house. Go round back. You need to tell me which room you want to go, go to back. This is hilarious. Just to get Jen home, then you can go back to the party. Oh god, freaking damn it. I'm drunk, I am not fit to drive, and there's snow, which means black ice on the roads, which means this is just, this is just, what do they call it? The world, no, what do they call it when like, Oh, I can't remember. It's a term you use when something bad's gonna happen and you're officially on the road to it and there's no changing it or stopping it or changing the outcome. You're just going towards it. This is it now. Go to car. You follow with the car handle confused until Jen tells you maybe use the key in your hand. Jen, please. I think you know the signs of drunkness since you clearly stated that no one else is fit to drive just by people 
in your house. You should know that I'm too drunk to drive. I went to a drunk uh, school made to girls who were like a what not to do about drunk driving. It's like what happens and what how terrible it all is. And one of the stupid activities they made you do is put on these ridiculous safety goggles that are all mirrored up. So everything's foggy and fuzzy and blurry and out of shape. And they make you try and walk two meters to the car with the car key and try to unlock the door open the door, get inside, do your belt, and do all that. And that was difficult, and that's, that's supposed to indicate what it's like to do this while drunk. So if I'm fumbling around with a ha car handle with a keys in hand, that should be a big, big warning to everybody saying, you are too drunk. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. Yeah, exactly, like. Oh god, this is just terrible. As you fumble around your seat belt, your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and the key that was inside. She tells you it's full when you turn. Look at note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. The car is freezing. Both of you enjoyed having your seatbelt on and ready to go. Really? Do I have my seatbelt on? I'm amazed. I fumbled around with like, a door handle for 10 minutes before Jen being like, do you use the key? I'm amazed I managed to get my seatbelt on. Put key in... Ugh, you know what? Use... Use key. It takes a number of times, but you eventually slot the key into the, into the ignition. Jen's just... Maybe Jen's... Maybe Jen's still drunk. She has to be, right? That's why she's not driving home. She's too drunk to even notice that I'm too drunk to drive her home. Turn... Key. You turn the key in the ignition and the car walks to life. Drive. The car squeals and stays stationary. Jen's just releasing the brake, giving you a wild ass. So she's not too drunk to notice that. I was trying to. You already hesitantly release the handbrake. I was trying, you didn't understand. Drive s slowly. You put the car into gear and pull out the driver like a first time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen is dozing off as soon as the joint got going. It shouldn't take long. You come to the junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. Go left. You don't want to, but you better ask Jen for junction. Go left. Don't ask me why. I'm just like. Wake! Jen! Ask for directions. She grunts and folds her arm to the left. There you go, it's left. Because it's left. It's, it's left. Go left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate it off. Go. Confident that you're on the right node now, you lift up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in the chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow. The F. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is putting your arm, yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There was a set of headlights coming towards direction now. Really slow, like slow motion. Move out of the way. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins the inside. The whole world James, around you begins to sake, pull over. screen. Uh oh. James! Whoa. It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. Leave me alone, dude. And then you made it worse. How can I make it worse? Come on. Show us what you did. Oh, the whiskey bottle. You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you up in your seat. Hi. I impact into the car, so the hole in the cat's There's poison spoon split out your car and flips in. You're doing great, but you have to get out of here. Unfasten seat. Can you get out of my face? Seatbelt! You release, oh, that's what they wanted. You release yourself in the seat. Gravity takes over your slump to the roof of the car. Help, 
Jen. You can't do anything from her right now. You need to help yourself yourself now. Leave. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall onto your knees in the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings chest to your pain. Your head is throbbing. A blue car has smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined like this. You are standing holding the whiskey and your dad's note when flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Help, Jen. Help your sister. It's gonna make me do this. Well, that's not smart thinking, is it, James? This will. <laughs> well, that's not smart thinking, James, is it? They will eventually find it here and we'll link it to you. Or whiskey on the passion. Just. The other car. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the swill of the the swill, the swill of the siren. You cannot go back to jail. You cannot go back to jail for this. I don't know where the bat came from, but you know I don't trust this guy. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remaining of the bottle's contents under the driver, and you toss the incriminating evidence onto the passenger seat. Cause you'll never trust his blood alcohol and violent at zero. A circle of fighting lights found you, eliminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Help. Jen. Sorry, you are not making any sense. Help. Jen. Help. You are not making... Oh, God. It's kind of messed up from the guy... His first thought about being in a car accident, in ca cra car accident is not to think, I should help the other driver. I should help my sister. I should even check to make sure my sister is even alive. No, instead, I'm going to incriminate the other guy. Go to figure. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. You fall to the ground at his feet. I know you. Oh, flashing light warning. No matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident, that poor man. Is this Jennifer? Me. You have to remember. Go. Oh. Whoa, what it just was happened? All your fault. What is happening? Oh, ow, hi. I know what you did. Uh oh. How you left He's me angry. to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. Can I click on it? You went headfirst into that office and you wrecked all of our lives. Yeah. And then you couldn't even take responsibility. I know. What about you did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at yeah. you now. Utterly consumed by it. I agree. This is messed up. Say it, James. This is messed up. Can't Tell them. I did it. I cut the fly. Oh well. Listen to yourself. I'm sorry. Joseph's a master painter. The harsh nature of this whole accident. See? Don't Do tell that fifth time. Understand. Hello. Camera. Dr. Sanna is always this watching you remotely. I don't know if anybody asked you ever with him. Stop. Did I do it? Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Cool! Can I watch my Come damn on. program now? Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> that was crazy. And then they just make me watch my program. You're done.
I'm messed up, son. That's what it should be called. Wow, that was crazy. So that all those previous ones was just him in a coma trying to process what happened to him. That was a really sad story because he just... You know what's coming? You have to progress the story. But God, do you not want to? Oh, so the... So Mrs. Ethan was the reporter. Oh, this is uh, the worst... No, come back, I was to do that. That was really good, Valentine really made this. This was excellent game. Very interesting. Oh, wow, it turns into the... Tanks, lovely. That was so cool! That was really interesting, and I love how different they all are. But they're all linked together and have the same kind of... Uh... Kind of... Not really theme, but kind of backstory-ish? Like, it's a different... It's the same story. Um... Him being a car crush, him dealing with it. But in totally different ways of interpretation. And they all come back at the beginning, up uh, at the beginning, at the end, so you know what to do with each of them. That was excellent. Go play it for yourself if you want to try it out, link in the description below, of course. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, why subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.